Okay, so what we've got is um, the filter on the 2600 all the way open. We're going to raise the gain so that all we're doing is listening to the output of this mixer. Um, so we're taking the sawtooth output and routing it to this inverter. And th the objective here is to subtract the sawtooth from the square wave from VCO1 and get some upper harmonics that do not include the fundamental. So my theory was, okay, let's invert this square wave, this, this invert the sawtooth and put it in, mix it in with the uh, square wave and we'll get the effect we're looking for. So let me turn the volume up and we'll add in the sawtooth that's inverted. It's just making it louder. If we take, if we take the sawtooth directly and put it in here. It will subtract out the fundamental frequency. Which is interesting, which means that the sawtooth is actually out of phase, 180 degrees out of phase from the square wave uh, and by doing this we can simulate a high-pass filter and get some higher harmonics than we'd normally get and let's bring in another VCO with a sawtooth and we get a pretty nice sound doing that and of course we can introduce the filter but the main point here is uh, mixing these waveforms together to get some uh, alternate uh, harmonics other than the uh, what you'd get with the uh, with a sawtooth which has all harmonics and the um, square wave which has only the odd harmonics one three five seven nine and so forth um, this of course the sine wave would have no harmonics and the triangle would have a few odd harmonics of the three and five uh, and that's the and that's the experiment of the day and here's the sound again